Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Claudia and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a Wix website for free. I will be showing you all the steps on a screen recording so hopefully you can follow along and I will leave timestamps in the description box if you need to go back to any steps or are looking for help on a particular thing while you're building your website. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and let's get started. Okay, to get started, you can head to wix.com and if you don't have an account already, you'll click get started and as you can see, no credit card is required. You'll then enter an email, create a password and then click sign up. Yours could potentially look a little bit different if Wix updates their site or makes any minor changes but the general steps should be similar or hopefully the same. As you can see, you can create a site for a client, but we're just gonna continue with Get Started and Wix is going to ask you what kind of website you're creating to help fill in potential templates and pages that could be useful for your type of business and there are endless options to choose from. I'm a real estate agent, so I just chose that and then clicked Next and you can go ahead and fill in your business info and click Next. And then you can either start customizing your design or continue to your Wix dashboard. I'll go to the dashboard so I can show you what it looks like quickly, but as you can see up here in the upper right, you can click design site whenever you're ready. And Wix will give you the option to create a site for you or for you to choose to customize a template. I'm gonna show you how it works either way that you do it. And then once we get into the editing features, those will be the same, whether you choose for Wix to design it or you choose to create your own. So. Let's start with letting Wix create a site for you, which I think is great if you don't feel particularly tech savvy or if you've never done anything like this before. All right, here is where you add in your information. If you have a physical business address and a phone number, you can add it here and you can add in a logo by clicking the plus sign and you can add any social media accounts. So you just have to add a link and if you wanna add multiple social links, just keep clicking that blue plus sign. Once you're done here, click next and Wix will give you some you know, theme options and as you can see, it says these fonts and colors will be used to design your site. You can always change them later, but pick one that speaks to you the most. Um, I like the clean template and then you can choose a homepage design. If you hover over them, you'll get a preview. And once you pick a homepage, you can add other pages. And this is why it's good to pick your closest business type because as you can see, it added pages for a lot of things that I would need as a realtor. And here it says you can customize these pages later. So you can either skip this step or add them now and then click next. And now from here, you can either get straight into editing or go back to your dashboard. And before we get to editing, I wanna show you what it looks like if you choose a template to customize yourself. So I'll leave a timestamp on the screen if you wanna skip straight to the editing section. So now we're doing the other option and this is gonna be a dummy site that we're working with throughout this video. So I'm just gonna pick an online bookstore and we're gonna name it Claudia's Books. And here is where you can choose what we would like added to our website template or you can skip this step for now. And now we're obviously going to choose the second option which is beginning with a template. So here are all the template options you can choose from. You can sort by newest or top templates and since we chose an online bookstore, these are all catered to that business type. So I'm gonna choose the writer template. You can preview them before you start editing by clicking view, and then you can navigate the site and decide if you like the template, and if you do, just click edit this site. So now the editing begins. On the left-hand side here, you'll see various icons that we'll go over in more detail in a little bit, but I wanna start with the interface and how you can edit some of the pre-filled text images, you know, backgrounds and colors that the existing template has, and then I'll show you how to add more to the existing template. So if you hover your mouse over the template, you'll see the sections illuminate. And when you're hovering over a section, you can select quick edit to start editing the text and elements in that section. From here, it is pretty intuitive. Um, we'll start by changing the pre-filled text to be custom to our business. Obviously, we're changing it to Claudia's books and you can do some basic edits in here, but for more advanced options, just click uh, go to text settings and this box will appear. When you select a text box, you'll see these dots that will give you the option to adjust the size of the box 
So I'm gonna do that so that all my text is on one line and I also want it to be a little bit smaller. You can make text bold, italicized, underlined, you can change the color. And these are the theme colors preloaded, but you can edit them or add your own. You can also add a highlight and link text as well. You can add effects, change the character spacing, and even make your text vertical if you'd like to do that. Of course, you can also change the font and add or edit themes. So there is a lot you can do with just even text changes. To move around an element on your template, just click and drag wherever you want it to be. And this pink line will show up to show you the alignment with other objects. So this is showing us that it is aligned center and this is showing us that it's aligned with the bottom of the objects. If you want to delete the objects, you can just click on them and hit the delete key on your keyboard and to adjust the size of an object just select it and then click and drag on the corners to resize it. To undo, just click this backward arrow to undo or redo if you want to return to the change that you just made. You can also delete objects by right clicking on your mouse and selecting delete. I'm just gonna quickly make some adjustments to the header section here. And now that I'm happy with how that looks, I want to preview it on mobile. So I'll click on the phone icon here and I don't like how Claudia's books is stacked in the mobile version, so I can click on that and make edits by resizing the text. And these changes won't impact the desktop design. As you can see, if I toggle back, my text is still the same size that it was before on the desktop version. To edit the main menu bar, select Manage Menu. And as you can see here, menu items that are visible are represented in this darker gray text. And other pages on your site are going to be visible here but are in a lighter gray showing that they're hidden and not appearing on your main menu. If you want one of these pages to be added to your main menu, click the three dots and select show. And now you see where more just appeared is where additional menu items will be added. If we hide news and events, you'll see FAQ has now appeared and we can also hide in the press and now only the darker gray items are represented in the main menu. If you wanna reorder items in your menu, click and drag them up and down and drop them where you want them and then to rename them, you can either double click on the name, change the text and click done and you'll see your change reflected right away and you can also click on the three dots, select rename to rename the section in another way if for whatever reason the double clicking isn't working for you. Now I'll show you how to adjust the size of sections. So if you select a section, these arrows here will allow you to adjust the height of your section to add more space for additional elements if you need them. So earlier I showed you how to click and drag objects in text to move them around. But you can also select an object, hold down the shift key and click on another one to move those objects together, which is really handy if you like how the spacing of two objects look. Instead of messing with it, you can just move them together. Now let's edit this section here on the home page because I need to change the text to reflect my brand and probably choose a different image to showcase the fact that I'm an online bookstore. So let's work on that. And then if you click the background of your section, you can choose to change the strip background and they have an insane amount of options to choose from. So we're gonna select image and Wix has free images. You can just search for whatever you're looking for. Um, you can also buy stock images from Shutterstock and Unsplash also has additional free options for photos. So let's search for books and I'm gonna choose this image here and select change background. So there you have it. It's very easy but now it's hard to read the text so i'm gonna make some more text edits to make this stand out so now that we've edited pretty much everything that came with the template we selected let's look at how you can add elements to your website so on the left hand side here we have all of those icons and if you hover over them you can see what they are there are so many options it's really incredible for a free version. You can add more text boxes, images that either you upload or import, or of course we just saw how to use free stock images. You can add buttons, which are great for helping users navigate your site. And if you just click on the object, it will insert into your site. And then you can just drag it into place. And of course we wanna make sure it's centered. And then if you click this paintbrush, you can make edits to your button. So you can actually hover your mouse over the different options and preview them without actually having to change your design. 
and after looking at the options I'm happy with the one we have currently so now I will change the text so it doesn't just say button and you have a few options here you can choose text only icon only or we're going to choose text and icon we'll edit our text and if you want to change the icon just click on whatever icons currently there and if you click media from Wix you'll see a bunch of different shapes that you can choose from but I'm happy with the little arrow that it came with I think it makes the most sense so we will just X out of here and of course very important you want to link your button either to another page on your site or to an external web address you can also easily link text that's not a button by just clicking on any text and selecting the blue link option and once you add an address or a page to link it to like this by now text the link will turn green so that you know that the link is active. Other than adding buttons, you can add new strips to your website. There are a plethora of decorative elements. And then if you just go to the bottom of any section and click more logos and badges, you can search for anything. So we're gonna search for a heart. You can choose from vector art, app icons, basic shapes, and I will show you how to change the color of a design element as well. So if we select this heart shape, it's gonna be added to our page and we'll just move it to wherever we want it to be, then click design. So here you can change the color, we can give it a border and you can also change the color of the border. So we'll do a darker red and there are even shadow options that you can mess with as well. Tons of options to customize your website and your design, which is amazing again for a free version. Obviously this heart doesn't go with our design, so I'm gonna delete it. And in that area, I'm going to add some social media links instead because that's going to be important for most people's websites. So if you go back to elements and you go to social, you can choose any of these social bars. Um, I'll just click and drag this one into my site and then set the links so that they'll go to my social pages when somebody clicks on them. If there are any social media sites that you don't use, you can just click on the icon and then the little trash can. And then you can go to this area to paste your profile link into the icon. And if you want to change the icon, click on it and then replace icon. And there are other options from different websites that you can choose from here. Moving on to adding sections. If you select sections, you should see these purple boxes appear on your page and there are a lot of various options for new sections to choose from. So let's say you have a holiday promotion for your business and you wanna promote it on your homepage, just drag it in and then select quick edit to go through the same process we did earlier of changing the background and the text. And whenever your promotion's done, you wanna delete it just select the section and hit delete. Next up we have pages and menu. And if you wanna add a page to your site, click site menu and then add. And Wix will give you some templates to choose from or you can choose to add a blank page in the upper left corner. Next is site design. And this is where your theme and colors will live if you chose a template. And if you click customize, you'll see your existing theme, but you'll also see some other featured items. So if you click on them, you can see how they look on your site. And if you decide you like your current theme, just scroll back to the top where it shows current theme. And if you want to edit your themes, colors or text, you can do that here. And this is great because even if you do choose a new color, let's just change color two to green really quick. It automatically picks out various shades for you to use throughout your site and I don't like how the green looks, so if I just click cancel, it'll go back to blue. But you can also customize your text themes if you wanna use you know, different fonts as well. This next section is for adding additional Wix apps to your site, and we won't be doing that in today's video, but I did wanna point out media. If you wanna edit videos or photos or add your own branded content or logos, you can do that here as well. And finally, I wanna show you how to see previous versions of your site. So if you made changes yesterday that you adjusted today, but you wanna see yesterday's version again, you can do that. So if you hover over save, you'll see version history. So it will take you to your previous versions. You can preview them and even restore them to a previous version if you want. You can also name the versions that you have if you wanna have a few different options to look through and remember which one you liked best, you can do that too. 
All right, so the final step is to publish your site. And at the top here, you'll see the web symbol. If you click on that, you can get a new domain name, connect one you already know, or Wix will just give you a free Wix domain to use. If you accidentally publish your site before you're ready, you can go over here to your dashboard, scroll down to settings, website settings, and click unpublish. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section and I'll try to either respond to them or make a follow-up video if there are any other tips or tutorials you would like me to make on Wix. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to do so. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.